Hey guys, Starcaster here, and welcome back to Expeditions Viking. Now, we're beginning our siege on a four-wick, so let's do this. Bali, Gunner, Nefia, Katil, Asleaf. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Feeling it. And then we sail home for the... Come on. I don't know why I feel like spinning my mouse around it helps. But after this, we sail home to the Athling or all thing and uh, make sure we don't lose our territory to Skull Skull Cleaver. And I'm hoping we get to kick his ass, and I hope that's not game over. Uh, you meet very little resistance on the Uis. A few sentries take pot shots from the banks of the river, but the arrows jump harmlessly into the shields along the side of the bosque. There's no one here. I would have expected a welcome party of some kind. All the defenders must have pulled back behind the protection of the old walls. The gunner points northwest where a large house fire rages. Not all. It looks like a skirmish on the other side of the river. Some of our allies have made it past the other defenses. We should aid them. Is that why? Is our goal is the King's Hall? That fight is the opposite direction. You heard the thing! Just remember, this is a war and our enemy no more takes prisoners than we do. If we fail, they will kill us. So do we help? We reinforce. We're gonna go reinforce. We need it. Okay, it's not showing me. Uh, this is to the northwest. So over here. Rita? Isn't that the smith? I mean, this house fire has been here. I thought. Yeah, this house fire has been here. Coming through here. We're coming from the back. A group of warriors are fighting a Northumbrian freed. Beard. As you come closer, you realize your allies are Mercians. Yes, I knew it. The groups both fall back when you approach from the rear, but the Northumbrians are now caught between you and your allies. The Mercian leader shouts across the street, You must be Aramis. God whiff asked us to find you and help you breach the walls. Much obliged, but we'll have to get you past this feared first. If you help us deal with this, we have a plan to get you through the walls without drawing attention. Sounds good. Let's do it. Right, we've got Vikings on our side now. Let's break the stalemate, people. Yeah, you got Vikings. Okay, now where am I? There. Of course I'm in the back. Move him there. Ranging shot. Should discover all of them, hopefully. I should be able to hit this guy. Yep. Take a fire arrow. Yeah, okay. And then I'll move him here. Yeah, I should be able to put a fire onto her as well. Now they're both burning. Ah, oh, I just can't get close enough. Alright, he's gonna go there. He can go right there. I'm gonna be right there with him, though. She's gonna go over here. Oh, and these guys. Completely forgot. I'm controlling these guys as well. So he can't get up to any of them, so we're just going to move him forward. We do have an archer right here. 
do a ranging shot. Damn. I'm gonna do a ranging shot right there. He's spotted, which should allow... Oh, man, he don't do much damage. Okay, quick shot. Moralize. Damnation. Puffball. No demoralize then, huh? Alright, that's fine. Okay, just throw your rock. Nice crit. Extend? Yeah. Extend might be able to kill him. Oh, what? You're a terrible warrior! Terrible warrior. Okay, that's turn. There's no more cover. Go there. Come on, you got a block, friend. Damn, Mercians. Glishman. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, no, not that bad. Still hurt. Block it! Send her there. You Critical messed hit. with He's the down. wrong woman. Send him there. Now these two can kill him. I might be able to put Patil behind their lines, maybe. Ah. Ranging shot. We'll just have to come at them from behind. It's going to take a little bit longer. Okay. She should be able to... poke him. And with an aimed shot, he should be able to land it. There we go. They killed one. Do I dare shield hook? Does he have one too? No. So best chance is a shield hook. Do you have heavy swing? to heal him. Okay, pushing further inwards. Let's cover there. Oh, well, said there was cover there, but apparently it's not. Okay. I'm sorry. I can't go on. Ouch. Let's turn, right? Yep. Okay, starting here. I want to do a quick shot. 
Oh, wait, no, not starting here. Uh, expose. The shield hook. Now, do we have some sort of chant? Sacrament. He's got... That. You got, you got... Nothing, I'm afraid. Okay. More critical hits. Okay, that should be good. Fire shot there. And then into the back of the gap shield. Yep. Hit him there. can't get a rounder. What I can do, though... Oh, I can attack from there. Okay, that's fine. And then Bali should be able to finish this. Get it, Bali! Yeah! And no one went down. Perfect bite. Perfect. Except... Thank you for your help. Who knows how long that stalemate might have lasted without you. Always happy to... Always happy to help an ally. And I am honored to be called your ally. Hell for it, Aramis. Godwiff asked us to get you through the wall. The idea is for us to serve as a distraction. My people and I will hit the tower, drawing defenders away from the rest of the fortifications, and you can slip through the southern beach. Sounds good. Exactly. Shall we do it? that way then all right let's do it all right all right people looks dangerous time to hit that tower what about him is he not going i guess not he ain't going either i guess they were supposed to die Because the only fight we have to do now is this one right here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where do we slip in at? Back here. Let me meet them on this side. Okay, cool. I can't see any defenders here. Looks like the diversion worked. Let's see what kind of defenses they placed in front of the King's Hall. None. Other than men. Oh, look, it's Leofric. The champion of a fork stands surrounded by his warriors. Shield, sword and shield in hand, it looks ste steely determined. Look of steely determination on his face. That's far enough. From the moment news of your landing reached a Forwick, I knew it would come down to this. Your people have brought nothing but death and destruction to this land. Hard right time. Step aside or we'll kill you. Should not have come. I don't know how you even managed to get this far, but your evasion will end here. Friends, kill the Vikings. Really? You, th you think it's you think it's just gonna be that easy, huh? There's Wolf Siege. I thought he was dead. I should be able to kill all three of these people in the first turn. Maybe more.
Go for the lady in the back. Oh, missed. Do need to clear out this front first. Oh, maybe I should have hit him. Well, dang it. No, she's not even going to be able to attack, so I'm going to use her. Extend. There. And then this should work. And he should be able to hit. Hopefully he can kill her. One more. There we go. There. Now they should have to shoot Aslif or Nefia. Judging by how that's supposed to work. Well, he, he, he missed anyways. Now, Leofric's the one I'm worried about. <laughs> Who is he going for? Nephia? No. Oh, no. Okay. We fought, we've fought him before. He moved even further away. I should be able to shield hook him. Shield hook. And that exposes him. Katil should be able to do a double crit, unless he gets not close. Close. Oh, he missed. Okay. Well, missed again. Okay. All right, Katil, you're fucking useless like you've always been. Set him on fire. He's exposed, so we can hit him with everybody. I don't understand how Katil misses like that. This right in their face. Another charge. All that armor he's got makes him incredibly resilient. Yeah, this should finish him, though. At least I'm not timed on how fast I have to be. I mean, I'm not having to like stop their escape or anything like that. I'm gonna send him chasing after the people up front. Not up front, off to the side. I'm gonna send her there. I know she can extend. him there. We could have had Katil heal him. Oh, yeah, he was on ready. Oops. I guess I can move the archers up as well. He's got his flame shot left. Sets him on fire. Do a ranging shot over there. Okay, who's left? Nobody. All right, let's go. Oh, they're still running. Oh, all right. He gunner might go down this turn. Nope, he won't. He will not go down this turn. In fact, I think he'll live. Heavy swing. Swing, bada bada swing, bada bada swing, bada bada swing. Okay, now he's gonna have to do a shield hook. Which will enable me to just do a regular old attack.
And which will allow me to do a quick shot on these two. Hopefully end them. Yes, now he's bloodthirsty. This will let me end him. And I send Bali to hit that girl. And all that's left is that archer over there that's playing run. Why? Why you do this? Why you run like that? Okay, that should be enough. Just us three. Ah, now he's anticipating opening. No, I did not mean me! Dang it. Okay, if Bali lands the shot, should be GG. Come on, Bali. Yeah! Okay. Oh, we killed Leah. Oh, I don't care for any of these Northumbrians anyways. It takes you a moment to locate Leofric's body among the carnage. It takes no more than a casual observation to see that he is very much dead. The best warrior, warrior in Northumbria was no match for us. He fought well. It was a pleasure to defeat a man like that in battle. He was certainly a strong warrior. Yeah, I'm killing all the Northumbrians. I freaking hate them. The Offric was decent, though. Maybe I should have let him live. <laughs> the Thelrid jumps up from a strategic meeting and points a finger accusingly at his guards. Useless donkeys! It's supposed to be my best soldiers, and yet you let heathen raiders slip undetected into my hall. Just how in the... He scrunches up his face as it hits him. Of course, the river. The defenses are woefully inadequate to stop a long ship. At the king's side, Wada lets the hint of a weary smile play across his lips. You're always a shrewd commander. It's a damn shame you turned against us. The king spares Wada a brief annoyance glan annoyed glance. Yes, killing you would be a great shame, but you will die for this. Wada, I know your loyalties are second to your pragmatism. Pragmatism. Perhaps we can make a deal. Athelward snorts derisively, but Wada's eyes widen slightly. He's listening. Diplomacy 5. Athelred has outlived his usefulness. If we fight here, now we will win, he will die, and there's no reason you should die with him. Athelred looks like he's about to combust. How dare you talk like that! I am the king of Northumbria! Water crosses his arms. Oh, I'm gonna fail at this. He appears to be anticipating your next words. You should choose him carefully. It's gonna fail. Eventually, both he and Wada appear to lose patience with you. The king draws his sword, and his guards immediately follow his example. I don't want to kill Wada. He was a good friend. But I will if I have to. I won't, I won't kill any of them. I do want to put him here, though. And do a one, two. It didn't kill Wada. Didn't kill a Thelrid, not yet, anyways. That's his one, two. 
I am all the way back here. Yeah, that's fine. Teal. Okay. Now this is where we go into quick shot. Ah! Wada's down. I'm not Wada. Uh, Athelred's down. Ah! He's there. Oh, I might be able to do a quick shot on this guy. Maybe take him out. Ah! One more. Perfect. One guy left. <laughs> Two left. One. Oh, there's a guy back there! No! I'm a very poorly observant. <laughs> nice flank, though. Oh, he ain't even gonna attack my archers. Okay. Then feel free to die, I guess. They will both die now. Archers are awesome. 94. Crit, I want to see 155. Never mind. 72. Same situation. I don't think he's going to be able to hit him, though. No. It's okay, because I will... Ah, oh, okay. Gunner, finish it. Victory. And they're all alive. Ethelred still draws breath, though it's with great difficulty. You traitor, wretched, dishonorable pagans. As traitorous, dishonorable pagans beat you in the end. Goodbye, Ethelred. Yes. What? 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 What the hell just happened? He killed me! The man killed me! Okay, move her there. You messed with the wrong woman. Oh, well, shit. No, I can't get up there. Okay. <laughs> ah, if they're fatigued. Oh. I see. Then I will kill a Felrid in freaking battle. A Felrid will die in battle, and that's just how it's gonna be. He's gonna die to a freaking fire arrow right to the face. There. I'm happy. Everyone else can live. Yeah. 
I don't understand. I don't know how he killed me. Was it like one of those moments where I go in to finish them and he then grabs something and like jabs it in my jugular? One of those last stand moments. Gunner, get him. Oh, I think I made a mistake. I made a mistake again. No, I didn't. Maybe, maybe I did. Yeah, I did. I, I just thought of a better way I could have done that. There. I will finish it now. Alright, Athelred's dead. He will not be coming back. I would like to know what happened, though. Athelred lies among his uh, dead among his allies. Hunter jabs the king's corpse with his foot. Saves us the trouble of deciding what to do with him. Yeah, I wanted to kill him, and somehow I died. Many hours pass, the battle rages on, eventually the kings break through and capture a Forwick. Captured both kingdoms, technically. Now I'll move on to pick up whatever loot there is in this hall. Armor and whatnot. Klein shield, cloth armor. Valuables, bookshelf. Okay, let's get out of here. We gotta travel home now. Still fighting at the wall? Oh. Blue. Oh look, Leofric's Halberk and Silver Cross. I missed that. How could I miss it? It's got a grim. Well, I'm wearing it for the for the sake of his remembrance. I'm gonna wear it. Oh, what I get plus one moot plus two movement with mine. Mine's better. Give me. You can have it. Give it to. Give it a gunner. With the melee damage. Oh, gunner did not like that. Come on, gunner. You can wear it. Oh, there's no image for it. What the hell? So many bugs. Don't steal. He finds Skullagrim in the process of repairing his shield. He gives it a final blow and checks to ensure that the handle is once again firmly attached, then looks up with a satisfied nod. Another victory, as I have come to expect of this army. I doubt many of our men had seen a pitched battle before they set out. Raiders as they were, but those who have not died have learned. So a Forwick lies at your feet. How do you feel? It's hard to believe it's real, that I am king of Northumbria. I'm sure the invasion must have seemed a strange and quick thing to you. We caught the kingdom by surprise, and your role in, role in the war put you far away from the worst of the fighting. But it's real. The throne is yours. From what I've heard of Ethelred, I think it's best that he was slain. Me too. He seemed a headstrong and unruly king, and I don't think he would have served us in the years to come. In the heat of battle, I did what I had to do. He was too great a liability. Things would be more straightforward without him. 
It will certainly be a more predictable process, hopefully. His death will serve as an example to any obstinate elderman or Jerifus, or whatever these their silly titles may be. How did your side of the battle go? Our losses were heavy, but acceptable. Odin's army grows almost 200 warriors today. Of course, the Northumbrian losses were far worse. Once their king stepped, stopped sending out commands, their lines quickly fell apart. Perth and Forwick are ours, a unified Britain under my rule. It is a great achievement. I don't know if any of us truly grasp the magnitude of what we've accomplished here today. When it sinks in, the celebrations will be legendary. But now, where do we go from here? Home. We go home. It feels unreal in a way. After all this time, all that we've accomplished here. There will be many things to sort out across our new territory. Perth and Forwick will be fortified. I will work with the local elders and take care of it until your feud with Skull is over. Your new, co new kingdom is going nowhere, King Aramis. I have a feeling he's going to betray me. I hope not. In any good Viking story, the protagonist always dies in the end. Because that's how you end the story. Death. Valhalla. I have a feeling we're going to get... I want to know how he killed me! Fucking Thelrid! Honestly, if I was in that situation, I would have, like, backed off and gotten a- had my archer shoot him. I would never give anyone a real clean death. Is that- isn't that my boat? That's my boat! Oh, damn. Looks like we're sailing- gonna travel to the beach front first. Cut it really, really close. I can't sail my boat out of here. So we'll go to... Go there. 17 hours, cutting it really close. Stay a night here, into the new area. Rest everyone up. No one got knocked out. I think the battle for Perth was a lot harder. I'm going to auto-assign the camp. Everyone's fully rested. Great. Alright, home! We go home. Uh, Aslif Katil. Oh, he's indifferent now. Gunner. Nephia. Everyone's pleased now, except for Roskva and Edis. Edis was disgruntled for a long time, though. In Bali, let's go. People are satisfied. Oh, I'm so sad that Aeth is dead. Where's Fenguala at, though? Okay, our boat. We've lost a lot of our herd. Well, not a lot, but two. Two feels like a lot, though. Didn't see Morkin either. I thought we'd see him again. Uh, I'm gonna do a playthrough and get healing. Have six cents. Probably go an archer route. I need my character like John Swain or something like that. And see if I can be a more of a support leader, like a true leader, instead of like always on the front line. I mean, a true leader you can also be a warrior, but you guys know what I mean. And maybe I can let, I'll have a lot more options as to what I can do. Be an archer. Have healing. Have sense. Have perception. No strength though. Alright, I am... Um... I'm excited. Yes, go home. Oh, I hope the campaign isn't over, but that's why I haven't ended the video yet, in case it is, because I don't want to make another video that's just five minutes long. Come on. Come on! Stop keeping me waiting in anticipation. Please. Whew.
to end your adventures in Britain. Okay, I'm gonna come here. Actually, uh, I'm gonna have Kvelder make... Nah, we good. Flat nose. It still says fair! Why? Alright, ending adventures in Britain. I don't understand why it's fair. 105 and 117. It's so good that you've come back home. The gods must have blessed Vosk. It's as though all Skurn calms down a little bit. <clears throat> I've been anxious for you to return, Aramis. We've heard so many incredible things about your deeds across the seed. The invasion is over. I am the new king of Northumbria and Pictavia. She covers her mouth with a hand in astonishment. So it's true. I dared not believe the rumors. You've conquered two nations with less than two score ships. I had, I would have thought such a thing impossible. The skulls will sing your praise for generations, my child. But we must not underestimate Skull Skull's cle Skull Skull Cleaver. That man has always been more than one knife hidden in his sleeve. Always had, always has had more than one knife. I don't fear that snake anymore. We must assume he's capable of anything, yes. The harvest is almost upon us and much work needs to be done on our lands. Our stores must not be empty if we are attacked in the autumn or in the winter. If you believe your time across the sea is at an end, we will pull up the Vosk and begin the harvest. It's not my choice. We're out of time. Perhaps you're right. I will gather some of the boys to unload Vosk. And so the Vosk is unloaded and pulled ashore, and the preparations will begin for harvest and to attend the all thing. So be it. Oh, loading screen. My heart's racing. I'm so excited as to what's next. September 19th, 789 AD, the Autumn Equinox. All the thanes of Jutland have gathered on the thing plain outside of Reeb to attend the All Thing. Two by two, they approach the king with their disputes. He hears both parties out, listens to the counsel of his most trusted, and then makes a binding decision. As the day gives way to the afternoon, a crisp hill. Chill creeps across the plane. Your hour approaches. Skull, skull cleaver is about to make his claim on Skarn. All right, guys. I think I'm gonna make this its own video. But thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a comment, a like, and if you want to see what happens next, which is possibly more than likely the end of the game. Islif has nothing to say. The end of the game. Then uh, click the subscribe button, the notification button, so you know when I upload the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.